This morning, CEO Sundar Pichai said that searches for vaccines near me have increased fivefold since the beginning of the year and announcing a $150 million initiative to provide vaccine information, also making some Google facilities available as clinics. Uh, Dr. DeSalvo, I just wonder how long have these plans been in development and why now versus at the start of the vaccine rollout? Well, we're really excited to be a part of the solution for getting the world vaccinated. So thank you for um, the time to, to share our plans and our thinking. I will tell you that we have been working on um, this pandemic since the outset more than a year ago and working with governments around the world to see that we can lift up good information, quality information for people and help wherever we can. And this is yet another way that we think we can be helpful to see that now that these vaccines have been developed, that we can help the world get vaccinated. Right. So, Dr. DeSalvo, a uh, question still stands. Why now? Why wasn't this sort of ready at the beginning of the vaccine rollout? And, you know, the Trump administration has touted its relationship with Google in the past, especially last March over a coronavirus website. How closely uh, were you or were you not working with the previous administration? And again, why are these efforts sort of starting right now versus a few weeks ago? Oh, yeah, let me be clear. This is um, something that has been in the works, meaning all of our efforts around, around COVID-19, including lifting up information about quality information about vaccines, about where people can get them, and um, being helpful for by opening our facilities. We did work um, with the prior administration, and especially the CDC. They've been a great partner in making sure that we can bring people to the quality information about how to keep themselves safe, their communities safe, all across the pandemic. And, you know, many of us are aware that the early phase of the vaccine rollout in the U.S. that started in December was really targeting those 1A uh, individuals, people who are high, high risk because they're healthcare workers or they're living in nursing homes. And so in that context, having com open community sites or popping up on maps where people can get vaccinated wasn't as useful of a, of a tool. But as we move into these bigger phases of having community availability of vaccinations. That's where we want to make sure that people know the information and know how to get to a vaccine when it's their turn. And then we certainly want to make our facilities available if that's helpful in getting as many people vaccinated as, as quickly as possible. Uh, good morning, Dr. DeSalvo. Uh, great to have you with us. It's John Fort. I'm, I'm wondering, what do you need from the private industry side to be most effective, both from the federal government and from state government and is that level of coordination now in place, or is it something that you're hoping to see in the coming weeks? Yeah, you know, this, this is such a great question because at the heart of all this pandemic response has been a public-private sector partnership. Part of my career I spent in public service at the local level, but also at the federal level in public health. And so I learned then, and I know now, that everybody together is how we're going to create solutions and how we can end this pandemic. So for us at Google, um, we know that people are coming to us every minute of every day around the world to get information. We don't need to create that information, but we certainly need to help lift up what local governments, what the CDC and others have as that quality information. So when people come to our services like Search, like YouTube, like Maps, they find that information that public health authorities want to get. So working in partnership with local governments, state governments, federal governments, and in fact, around the world is, is job one, what we do to get people the right information. And I'm just really excited at how much the private sector has wanted to lean in and has leaned in to partner with public health throughout this pandemic. I hope that we'll continue to see that kind of effort across this year and beyond, frankly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.